presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. I want to tell you, I've been listening to you since your radio days back in 99. Appreciate what you guys do. But what I really enjoy that you brought back to Ward. This guy is as smart as a whip. I am so happy for that feedback. Yeah, because he's one of a kind. He's got to be the number one market timer. I'm telling you, it's like he called it really, really he, good. He does. I really appreciate the feedback, man. Yes, yes. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. This is it, folks. Kicking into the last week of the year and kicking into 2020. How's that, man? Holy cow. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. This, this is a trippy card, man. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's the part that's pretty trippy. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 177, NASDAQ up 88, S&P's up 21. Gold. Gold contract up $5.20, trading at 2074 an ounce. We have silver flat, $24.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude, up a buck eighty-five, $75.41 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note, up two ticks, trading 112.21. The 30-year up 12 ticks at 124.05 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 231 ticks, trading 101.468. Euros at 110. Yen's at 142, British pounds at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you got a short week. It's going to be an illiquid week, and they want to run the market, folks. Okay, you got a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. If we take a look at the SPY, put this back. And what you're going to see out here is that you're, you're approaching, you know, first off, we're approaching the high. Yeah, we, have, we haven't hit the high, first off. We're at 475.78, but we have another ABC structure up to 502. So I expect we're going to get there. You know, first we're going to take out that high, but my take is that, yeah, we're going to not only take out that high, we are going to get into that ABC structure up because there's straight line moves. We take a look at the Qs. The Qs had already taken out its high. Now, the Qs are going to be a lot easier to hit this ABC structure, too. It's only 25 points away from where we are right now. The Qs need to get a little bit more away from the high it's just taken out, which is the all-time high. Right now, you're at 410.79. 434 is the number. Okay? Notes and bonds. Now, check this out. Now, this, this is a trip, folks, okay? So, you had an auction this morning. And this thing is so strong, it's unbelievable. So you had an auction out here this morning. And the way this works, folks, is this, is that you had indirect buyers, okay? So they were pushing out uh, a huge amount of paper this morning. At actually 1 o'clock this afternoon, actually, they were pushing it out. Well, what you had, so inside the Treasury market, you have primary dealers. And then you have, so if it's a primary dealer, that's called a direct market. Then you have an indirect market. An indirect market would be other central banks, would be you and I if you're on Treasury Direct. You can, you can bid on these things, okay? Well, the bottom line is that it came in at, <coughs> excuse me, a record 77.6% was indirect. Then that's the third largest share ever of an indirect on a, on a two-year note. OK, and of course, you know, we know why, because folks <coughs> are understanding that rates are going down and everyone's piling in. And, you know, if we, if we go back to, you know, 
what we've been talking about for quite some time now is that, yes, the Fed hasn't gone down on rates yet, but the market has gone down on rates, okay, in a monster way. So you have a huge demand, and the demand is overtaking the supply, okay, which is really wild, okay? Now, the next draw, and then, then what also, on top of that, what end up happening is that the, let me get this straight, that the rate that the Treasury thought that they were going to sell these at, it actually went under that rate because the demand was so heavy, okay? Uh, now, what we're going to see on Thursday, this was, this was today. Thursday, what's going to happen, yeah, yeah, so the, the, they, they sold $57 billion. This is the one that went under the rate today. $57 billion or two years. They went under the rate that the Treasury thought they were going to get. They ended up selling it at 4.314. 4 and the Treasury thought that they were going to have to sell them at 4.595. So you can see that's, that's pretty intense, man, when you're talking about f multiply 57 billion times uh, <laughs> 20. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do this math right now, but, but, but you get the gist of it. The gist of it is a much larger demand than there is supply. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening Thursday, but my, my take on Thursday, it's going to be the same thing. Why? Because the, the rate cycle, the high rate cycle is over, and what you have here is that there'll be huge amounts piling into that structure because it's still a good structure, meaning it's still, you know, you're getting 4 or 5%, and that's a no-risk deal because you're, you're talking about treasuries. You're talking about notes. Yeah, so big deal, man. We get out of the gold, we go, go to the gold market, we take a look at the gold market out here. That gold market right now, we got above the consolidation last week, and we did it with volume, by the way, okay? Volume actually came in on Friday, and that's pretty cool for a vacation week, man. I mean, the bottom line is that it did 170,000 contracts, so your next leg there, you know, we're at 2,074, the next leg is at uh, 2,150, and my larger take is that, yeah, we're going to go up to this uh, 2,500. This A to B, the, the A to B equals C to D is 2,500. And there's plenty of stuff happening inside of the dollar and the world in general that uh, it could get there pretty quick. The dollar, when we take a look at this dollar, what you're going to see is that the dollar on Friday broke, broke to lower. We're just about breaking the lows of Friday now, and it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a big reach now to hit 99 before this Friday, or at Friday. That's, that's how I think this thing is shaking out. We're at 101, 472. Your swing point down there is uh, 99, 578. You know, so you're, you're two points off it. Two points, just so you know, 236, these come in thousands, okay? So you get two points, you get 2,000 on the way down. Well, guess what? Sometimes this dollar has been moving at a clip of about, uh, you know, 900 on those big days. So we could hit that in a couple days. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up 179, Nasdaq's up 88, S&P's up 21. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries right now trading up 170. You get the NASDAQ up 88. SP's up 20. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. He also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it actually right under uh, featured content because Basil did a great workshop for his subscribers on December 20th. You can get the opening call for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%, and one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $592 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and so you're going to get a great newsletter. You're also going to get the subscriber event that he just did for his clients, and he has more subscriber events on there, folks, okay? So check it out. Kick off the new year with it. If it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, 28th, 29th day, just cancel it. You're still going to have a great newsletter. You're going to have a great archive. You can understand how the Chapman wave moves. And we go from there. Basil Chapman, New Year's coming at us, man. Oh, isn't this a quick year? I guess they get quicker as you get older. That That's toilet paper simple. roll's getting smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's going faster. There's no doubt, man. I know. It certainly is, yeah. So I thought I'd mention, since this is the end of the year, this will be the, the last interview for 2023, I thought I'd just I'd go through a couple of things here. What, what, the most important is that in my work, I, years and years ago when I used to hand chart, I found out that if I could identify the lowest low bar, I could see the prices move higher. I could actually, uh, I could label the peaks as they move up, but they're also basically grading them. <clears throat> And what I wanted to see was a buy signal get upgraded to a buy mode, which implied that I should get at least four higher peaks or whatever. It doesn't matter whether it's a one minute chart or a monthly chart. So the idea is to get you off the ground, get to the peak A, then a one penny above A starts leg B. If it makes a peak, it's called a peak until it pulls back and then goes above that previous peak by one penny, starts leg C, and that can take you to D. Yes, you can go to E, F, and G, but D is really the, the, the core of the, of the uh, Chapman Wave methodology. So in this particular regard, I wanted to show you something very interesting. 
We made a peak E in the Dow in January of 2022 at 36,952. On the right here is the monthly chart. I'll move this up so you can see a little bit better. That's an E right there. And then it pulled back sharply to 28,660 and uh, started to move higher. Now, one of the things I wanted to mention is also we actually long from um, the 2020 low. We were long the diamonds, a core position from the 18,213 level. And we're also long from the October 28,660 low of last year. But what I'm looking at is we're in leg C. Now, this is a monthly chart. Okay. That means, let's just imagine the market stalls right here in December, yep. and it doesn't for the whole of January. It doesn't go above whatever the high is. Just imagine it's this 37,641 high that was made back on uh, four days ago. That was, uh, that was on the 20th, and it was actually 37,000. Um, let me give you the exact figure. Uh, six, there are 37,418.76. If in all of January we go to point one point higher, that, that's not just one point in 37,642. I'm saying if it's just one point higher above that uh, 37,641.30 yes. level it, to 30.31. That actually continues leg C for the entire month of January. I see. So okay. my concept is that D is where other things can happen. Your obligation in this Chapman Wave methodology is to get you to at least a D. Well, that means we couldn't make a D. Imagine now that we, uh, we don't make a new high in January. That means all of January is peak C. But then you have to go all of February to make that leg D if it goes above that peak C, so it's leg D. And then you have to wait for the following month, March, to confirm that it's a peak D. So, so far, everything that I'm looking at suggests that there should be higher prices. It doesn't tell you how far we could pull back on the short term, but certainly the low of 32,327, the October 27th low, that should be sacrosanct. That should not be taken out as it stands right now. So it, that part of it is very good. I can just do the other indices. But what I want you to say is more, more important than that <clears throat> is that I'm finding for subscribers to my opening call that this is the biggest variety um, in sectors and and even price. So it's broadening out, right? Yeah. So, so what's very interesting is that we have stocks. We have, for instance, we still have that UEC, that's uranium from three uh, 64 and here it is at what 674 uh, and yet we still have the Microsoft so let me show you UEC right now here it is a very low price stock <clears throat> but look how nicely it's done almost at uh, it's not a multi-year uh, well actually it is a multi-year because you had to go back all the way to 2000 and 2010 where the high was 748 it's come all the way down to pennies and it's back at the double top of 660, which was April of 2022. And this year it's gone higher. It's gone into the 770s. So that's a very low price stock. But we also have Microsoft. And we've got Microsoft from 338. There it is at three, uh, 374. It is 384. And it's just kind of the stalling sideways motion, I think, is very important because it's a digestive phase. So we've got, we're, we're, in areas that I didn't expect by the end of the year that we've been. We're in a gold stock, <clears throat> we're in nice. an aluminum stock, we're in a, in a financial, we've got a, a bank, we've got Bank of America. Bank of America is really important for us to be moving higher. I want to see those financials moving. Look how they land, look at the Bank of America. 50.11 back in February of 2022, it plunges down to the 24 level. Now it's at 33. It's just starting to move. So when I did my webinar, I was looking at just this type of thing where really good companies had really sharp pullbacks, and now they're in a recovery process. Will that recovery last into 2020, the first quarter of 2024? And that's kind of what we're trying to play at this particular point. So yes. we're in Basil, let me, let me ask you, when, when did we start together? Was it like 99? Was it 2000? Uh, 
We we started in t uh, 2001. 2001, sorry, 20, okay. No, 20, 2002. 2002, we okay. started, but I started my service, I think it was February of 2022. Unbelievable. Isn't that, it's amazing when you just It blows my that. mind, man. <laughs> and we've had so many bear and bull markets. I mean, 22 you know, we've, years, we've, man. Wow. We've been through a lot. And what's very interesting, I started listening to you way back. I used to, I, I was yeah. telling someone the other day. Oh, listen, I man, I remember you coming up to the radio studio. I remember sitting right down with you, man. I, I remember You're saying answer. specifically, oh, man, I want to do this. I, I, I remember the whole deal, man. Unreal. Yeah, I remember it well. So Unreal. anyway, thank you very much for all that you've no, done. No, thank Tom. you, I man. Really appreciate it. Listen, get and over to our fun. website. Get over to our website, folks, okay? You're going to go under featured content. You're going to see Basil right there, picture and everything hit that button and, and you're gonna be very happy you did basil uh well i'll of course i'll see the show tomorrow but happy new year man and a happy new year to you and a very successful new year to everyone and a healthy new year big time yes. yeah see you next week yeah Thanks. to need a crystal ball after all it's impossible to predict the future right like any endeavor in life before you decide it's impossible get some advice from the experts you might find that it's not so impossible after all for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 200. You get the NASDAQ up 102. S&Ps are up uh, 25. And you had... Uh, Bristol Myers Schwab, folks. Uh, I mean, Bristol, yeah, Bristol Myers Schwab. They came out this morning and uh, they bought a Ray, Rizella, Rizell, uh, I can't pronounce the whole thing, but bottom line is that this is, uh, you're going to see a lot of this inside the cancer business, folks. Okay, it's a radio pharmaceutical. And what it does is targets the tumors without wrecking the rest of your cells. You know, we'll see how, how successful it's going to be. But the bottom line is that 
you talk about doubling in price. So if you take a look at this, we put this up just for a second. Right, where are you? Okay. It's a double in price. Right here. Come on, you're up. Uh, how did I just, I just had this thing, man. But bottom line is that the, the, the these biotechs, man, you know, if you get the biotech right, you're, you're in heaven. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Oh, here it is right here. Let's just look at this for one second. So we take a look and it. it's up 30 bucks right now, trading 61. So it's doubled in price. Yeah, and if you take it, what's interesting, if you do take a look at this, like going back five days ago, it's like, okay, that's the only time there was any volume in it at all. Pull this back a bit. Yeah, this is a new new deal, and there was volume coming in, but pretty amazing, no doubt. Now, folks, let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day and get his newsletter at Ord, O R D, hyphen oracle.com. That's Ord hyphen oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on? I sent you over a couple of charts, uh, or actually four charts. We got and, them cooking. Uh, yep. All right. We want to take a look at the first chart, which is we kind of started looking at this probably a couple of weeks ago, if not longer. Yep. But it's the uh, NYSE summation index, which is the top window. Yes. And we keep talking about it. Back on October 27th, uh, you got a reading uh, minus 817, and think below minus 700 is a selling climax. And the, the whole scenario for this indicator uh, to trigger a bullish uh, situation has to go below minus 700. Then in around two months, it has to go above plus 1,000. Yep. When it's done that, uh, it predicts a bull market going forward. Not every day is going to be an up day. Right. Uh, but, but it does suggest 2024 will be up. And again, on October 27th, we had minus 817. And this is uh, Friday's close. So it's not today. It's okay. Friday's close. And we have 920.70. Oh, my so God. Unreal. Yeah. So, and today so we get again, a good day. So we're going to add more today. Yeah, we're going to add more today. And uh, plus, you're going to add more tomorrow. Right. Because tomorrow's the tw 27th. Oh. So you, you basically you got two days uh, to get you know is you know, is, is a thousand the exactly uh, magic number? Not really. I mean, yeah, probably no, nine fifty to right. thousand right. fifty would probably qualify for it. Um, so, but it's around a thousand. You know, and and the last low was eight hundred seventeen. It got below minus seven hundred. So we started off with minus eight hundred thirteen. Uh, and we already rallied to 920. So probably we've met the rules, but officially I guess you need to get her up plus sure. 1,000. And most likely that's probably going to happen this week. And if it happens this week, then there's probably, I don't know, high percentage probably in the 90s that next year will be an up year. And this chart goes back to 2007. And the blue lines show the times when this indicator hit below minus 700. Okay. And the red line shows the time to hit above 1,000. And if you notice, they all came at major lows. And we had this back in 2022. Um, we got a, a October uh, low. I forgot what it was. It was like about a minus, below minus 1,000. Then we had a rally into January and hit above 1,000. And, and hey, and Tim, that, so the summation index, that was Sherman McCollum's deal, right? Is he the one that invented yeah, that? Sherman. Yeah, Tom and uh, Sherman Collin, actually his wife created it. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah, his, his wife is a mathematician. Wow. Uh, Sherman's okay. wife. And and so she figured out all this stuff. And, and Sherman, um, you know, I, I guess they both did it, but she was a mathematician in the family, I'll put it that way. No, I know, because so. going back like 20, 25 years, I had Sherman on a few times. Then he passed the baton to, to Tom, you know? Right. Right. Okay. Wow, man. Yeah. And so it's still kind of a family affair. He has a, uh, a he has Tom and he has another son too that uh, do stuff for the McCall or the uh, okay uh, McCollin uh, newsletter. So their whole family's kind of into it. But yep. 
the the wife of Sherman is kind of behind the scenes, and she's the one that kind of figured out the numbers how all this works and how cool is and it that? works well. You can look at the chart. You know, they all came at a major low. Oh yeah, it's amazing uh, so. looking at this chart, seeing how fast when it does happen that it can actually get up there. I mean, it's it's. It's, but it makes sense because at those lows, the market's cleaned out, right? I mean, that's that's, that's yeah, the market's cleaned out. Yeah. And see, what you, you need is you know, it's a sign of strength off these lows. Yes. You look back at the uh, 2007 decline there, going into 2009 low. You had a bunch of uh, selling climaxes, readings below minus 700, but you never had a uh, sign of strength off those lows so the market just kept going down right uh so right so you have to have the sign of strength to really confirm there's enough you know buying pressure in the market to, to say yeah we're in a bull market and so it does appear that and so you know next year is election year too yeah so yeah, most likely they're not going to kill the market you know uh, yeah so well and interest for, rates are going the right that, way that, i mean that's you know yeah. I, I can i can see i mean interest rates you know, we're on the other side of the cycle, and that's a big deal, man, because, you know, the cost of money is, is everything for, you know, not only public companies, but for, you know, families, businesses, cities, states, the, all of the above. Right. Yeah. Look yeah, the, it's all of the above. So, so they're, they're doing whatever. I think, you know, the, the people in the government, I guess, are trying to make the economy look as so good as possible, where it really is or not. You know, as long as there's money supply of money in the market you know it's 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 going to drive it higher but it's next year looks a good year so yeah um we can we can go on to chart two yeah let, let's uh, let's yeah let's do that okay good i got track two up yep all right chart two this is a short term so that's a bigger picture and you know we'll, you know, i'll come on thursday again and as uh, most likely I'll, I'll update that chart to actually be wednesday's close because when the up this is on chart number one now. Yes. Because they don't update these um, readings till well after the close. Right. So this is Friday's close, 920. So today we may be, we may right be at the 1,000 level or pretty darn close to I it. I know, because uh, it, but, as even as we're talking, Tim, you came on and the S&Ps are up 20. Now we're up 24.5. Okay, so they're running it into the close out here, too. Just stay right there, Tim. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien, we're coming right back. And remember, this program's archived, folks. So if you're in your car and you want to look at those shots, okay, don't look at them in your car. Bottom line, get home, hit the archive. You're going to be able to go through all these shots as Tim and I, uh, as Tim explains these shots to you. Dow's up 189, Nasdaq's up 99, S&P's are up 24. Tim and I are coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Wood, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl on the problem. So don't forget, folks, you can get Tim Wood's newsletter by going to ord-oracle.com. Okay, Tim, I have the second shot up here. All right, so this is just a short-term view of of what is kind of going on. Nothing really bearish, but uh, the bottom one is uh, is the uh, five-day trend. Yep. The average of the trend five days. Next one up is the ten-day trend. And uh, last week, uh, th this is current as of today, but in general, we're in the bullish category for the uh, five-day. You like to see around one point four or higher. We're a little below like one point two five when I did the chart. And next one above is uh, you like to see it around 1.2 or higher, you know, we're 1.17. Yes. So nothing real bearish, but all that gray or that pink area across the, the chart there are times when both those uh, readings got into bullish ter ter territory. And they hit there last week, and we're kind of into a, a consolidation, I guess, phase. I mean, we're not really rocketing up, but we're not rocketing down either. We are touching a new high here, but... Uh, it looks, you know, looks good. You know, what can the market? Can we have a minor pullback here? Maybe, but it's not set up for anything significant. And hey, well, what's going to get now. interesting, uh, Tim, too, right? Well, is that the on the what on the twentieth we had? Now, when that drops off, that's going to change that quite a bit because we're going to have three point six nine, right? Uh, that, that now that's helping us at this particular point. When it drops off, though, it'll get intriguing, right? <laughs> Right, yeah, it, it drops off, but you know, we may have another, you know, uh, a shakeout. Oh yeah, know, yeah, no, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, right, right. You know, kind of, the market kind of regenerates itself or re-energizes itself. Yes. And you get these uh, shakeout one day sh wonders, and you know, everybody panics and everybody try to get through the exit door. So you know, yeah, true. When that three point something drops off. It's going to affect the 10 day and the five day. We'll get to bearish territory, but the 10 day, he gets around 0.9 or lower. A lot of times that's kind of a danger level. Okay. But it stays around one or higher, you know, in rallies, you're probably fine. Uh, what I'm trying to point out here, there's nothing really. No, no, no. I'm with that. I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring it. Re really, really either extremely bullish other than uh, the bigger time frames because of the summation index looks really good. No, no, but, for uh, sure. I, I just a little fuzzy. Yeah. I just so. wanted to bring it up for the listeners so they can really start understanding how this works because it's always cool, folks, when you know you get a big one or a small one and it's dropping off. It, it be, and you know what's so cool about what you do here, Tim? You can project going forward. That's what I, it was really cool. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, man, yeah. you know, yeah. Right. Yeah. I count forward, too, so I want to see what's dropping off 10 days ago or yes. five days ago. Yes, exactly. And it kind of gives you a clue what, what may happen. So, but, you know, this is, you know, there's nothing to write home about. It's just, no, you know, no. sometimes there's something to write home about and sometimes yep. there's not. No, I'm with you. In this particular case. I'm yeah, with you. Okay, so I'll go lot. to chart number three. Now, chart number three, all this is is kind of a momentum indicator. It measures the up volume, down volume, yeah. and the advanced decline. So it kind of shows you what the market's doing. And the bottom window is the GDX uh, up-down volume 
percent on a 50-day average, so it's a big average. Yes. And so long as it stays above zero, which is all the blue area, okay, it's usually uh, normally in an uptrend. Uh, as of today, when I print this chart, we're at 5.52. And then, uh, you know, it gets away from zero to uh, looks like about 12. It usually stays in that range. So we're kind of in the center of uh, the bullish range, I guess you might say. Yes. Uh, it's it's uh, nothing real significant. It gets below zero. Normally the rally is kind of coming to an end. Okay. Uh, most of the time. And, you know, plus five in that range, you're fine. Uh Nothing, again, to write home about, so that looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, uh, so that's the short term. And what I really want to kind of talk about is number number chart four. Okay, I have it up. All right. This is really kind of an important chart. This is this current rally that's going on right now. It really kind of needs to continue. And the reason why I say that. If it kind of fails here and goes back down, uh, those two indicators, which is the bottom indicator, is a cumulative monthly advance, or no, it's up down volume. And the next one up, up, second chart up from the bottom is the monthly cumulative advance decline. Yes. And you need both those uh, indicators, the advance decline and the up down volume, to get above the mid Bollinger band. And usually when it gets above the mid-Bollinger band, it usually stays above the mid-Bollinger band because it's a momentum indicator of volume and advanced decline. Yes. And once it gets above there, it stays there. If you notice, uh, they can trend for years. Uh, right. Matter of fact, it picked out the, uh, the January or the 2012 high. It stayed bearish all the way into 2016. Yeah, so four years. For four wow. years. And we've been actually kind of bearish since 2021. There's been pockets of of uh, short-term runs in, in the uh, gold market, but not lasting runs. This right. indicator predicts the runs that could last a year or two or three. And how how and close are we now, Tim, to the advanced decline line getting in the middle? Are, are we close to it? Yeah, we're, we're actually we need to get uh, the, the advanced decline is uh, the the second window up from the bottom yeah and it needs to get above the bollinger band oh i see it now yeah. i didn't see it i see it i got it you get a, you get this is if you're looking at this chart folks he has an arrow right to it i should have saw that okay cool i got it i see it yep yeah okay and uh, the bottom window is the up down volume uh so it needs to get above the mid bollinger band too so let's flip to the top chart Okay, the the top chart is uh, the monthly GDX, and I drew yep. a, a line connecting the highs going back to uh, 2021. Yes, and so you know this is the old Weisskopf deal going on here. To get through that line, you need an SOS, which is sign of strength. Right, and so I'm, you know we te the more times the line is uh, trend line is tested. The more times, or the more likely it's going to bust through. All right. So this is the fourth time we're testing it, or it depends how you count it. it. Could be fifth time you're testing it. So uh, most at some point we're going to bust through that line, and and when you do it, uh, all those uh, the, the Bollinger Band two indicators down below most likely will get above the Bollinger Band, and probably you're going to start a run that could last several years or at least a couple at least a year yes uh, so i'm thinking this is kind of lining up to like a 2000 bottom if, if you remember back then. oh i remember you know, that stuff, uh, praise yeah, the lord if this is 2000 bottom there. we're all going to be happy was, man <laughs> yeah it was great so i'm thinking that's why i'm looking at the bigger picture here something's lining up over the next month or two that if the market remains basically relatively strong and it keeps moving higher all those bollinger bands will be exceeded uh the bottom two is most likely will have a sign of strength through that trend line on the gdx and if that's the case then uh probably over the next year maybe two uh the, the, the a bull mark we haven't seen probably haven't seen for for years that's probably in the progress of, of happening right here so right because with, with tim's it's, talking about possibility that will that happen or not there's some ingredients that suggest that it may yeah and what tim's talking about folks that's when we went from 252 bucks to 1100 in the gold market you know and yeah. tim and i did get it thank god <laughs> yeah we did we did it was fun it was so. fun man well listen man it's always a pleasure tim you have a great one safe one look forward to speaking to you on thursday
right. Thanks, Thank man. Thanks okay, stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow uh, right now uh, up 152, right? Nasdaq's up 84, S&P's uh, down up 19. So check this out, folks, what Tim was just talking about. Actually, we went higher than I thought on the first leg. So on the first leg, the, the first leg from 252 took us to uh, 1,072. Then you did a, a pullback to 688. And then your next run took you to 1970. That's how this thing is shaken out. Now, the larger one, okay, if you just watch this, the larger one, this is the large ABC that I'm looking at here, will take you to 2,500. And you can see you, you, busted, you busted this whole deal, meaning the consolidation. And, you know, bottom line is that between the dollar and uh, politically, because what's happening right now, folks, is that they don't, you know, uh, we don't want the Mideast to blow up, but unfortunately, it looks like it is going to blow up. Uh, and that's going to be, that's, we haven't seen the gold contract actually move on uh, politics of fear um, at all. You know, now that can change very quickly, you know, because, you know, you have the, between the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean, uh, there's action out here. There's action as, as I'm speaking right now, okay? 
So this thing is having a hard, hard time to contain itself. But the bottom line is that 2,500 is game. And 2,500 to me is game just on the aspect of where this dollar wants to go. Because I, I suspect the next place we're going to be here is 99, then they're going to be at 94, and we'll see if 89 is, is game. Um, you know, if you haven't test driven the, the gold report, go check it out, man. Because when you get these runs, they're, they're pretty, you know, the gold market's a really small market, folks, as is the silver market. So when you get it right, you really get it right. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happies, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.